Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 107. NASDAQ is up 18. S&P is down 5. Gold. Gold contract down $12.60, trading at 17.04 an ounce. We have silver up a penny, $19.51 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 35, trading out at a price point of 88.68. You get notes and bonds. They're both flat. The 10 years at 114.30. The 30 years at 131.29. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 136 ticks, trading 106. 678. The euro is at 99. The yen is trading out here at 142, I believe. 145, right? One second. Give me that one. Whoops. Come on. Whoops. Come on. Give me that one. I'll get the end. And the pound is 114 to 1 US dollar. Now, we get over and take a look at this market, folks. And the bottom line, you know, the expectation out here today is kind of like what we're doing. Because when you go down as when you go down as much as we went down yesterday, or as up as you went up, you know, if you were going up that much, it takes a huge amount of energy out of the marketplace. So you can expect the sideways move. Where the problem lies is that if we have this sideways move and this baby stays with us, you know, four or five days, that would be building cause. You can see intraday that's exactly what we've been doing. If you take a look at any of the indices, the bottom line, you're going back and forth each and every time. And I can show you right this, even on this 10 minutes, the, the force is still downtown. Every one of these highs out here, you can see, okay, the first low that was generated today had uh, 9,900 contracts. The f next high had 5,400. The next low had 35. That was nothing. The next high testing it was only 25. And then the next low was 58. So the bottom line is that you're building cars for lower price. And if you do go sideways, it's going to be a monster problem, man, because that just builds up energy once again. And, of course, what's going on is that the next big date that we have out here, I'm not quite sure why the market's not believing it, but it's the Fed. The Fed, uh, bottom line, uh, we're at 2.5 to 2.25 to uh, 2.50. Well, if you do 75 basis points, folks, the next three meetings, the next one's going to be September 21st, November 2nd, November 14th. Bottom line is that you get to four and a half, and that's where I think we're going. I think it's 75 basis points each and every time, and then you're going to hang out there for a long time, and that's where things get really dicey. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.